What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be my spoiler free review for Renfield as much as I can help it. This is coming to us from Chris McKay who is directing based off of a screenplay from Ryan Ridley and or written by Ryan Ridley based on a story by Robert Kirkman I should say. And of course this is starring Nicholas Holt as well as Nicholas Cage, Aquafina, Ben Schwartz, Adrian Martinez and several other stars I don't care to mention. So this film is revolving around the titular character of Renfield, who is Dracula's lackey, R.M. Renfield, who is finding a new lease on life in modern day New Orleans when he falls in love with Rebecca Quincy, a traffic cop, and decides to finally stand up to his creator in hopes of finally breaking free of his servitude. Now, Renfield, if you saw my tweet, I do think Renfield is an absolute banger. This was definitely definitely one of one of the more successful ways to revive an iconic universal horror monster character. Uh, a horror comedy that leans more on the comedic element but still delivers a horrific experience in other departments. I would say the entire cast delivers. The story is filled with meaningful themes to invest in and the way those themes are explored through our characters helps makes them relatable and easy to connect with. Since many people think praise equals a flawless movie, I'll just nip that in the bud right away. No, the film is not without its flaws. In fact, the abrupt crime drama shift did take some time to grow on me, and some people might be turned off by it completely, to be honest. Some of the jokes are not always landing either, and the editing isn't always that great to me anyway. However, now that those are out of the way, I will still say that Renfield is an absolute delight from start to finish. Ryan Ridley's screenplay is packed with themes about self-worth, codependency, toxic relationships, and the way the story uses the supernatural world or Dracula in this case to represent real world struggles or flawed humans like narcissists is definitely something i have to sign off on as brilliant since i am a massive buffy fan using the supernatural to find logic in the natural occurrences of what might be some people's everyday life is always a great thing to see the exaggeration of the renfield character was again something that did take a, a bit to grow on me but it was still well executed overall. Renfield's progression as a character throughout the movie is wonderful and it's nice to kind of follow that as it as it progresses. As is Rebecca's, a local cop that inspires Renfield to chase his independence. Renfield is introduced as a codependent loser with no backbone who lives with regret with regret about giving up his family to serve Dracula, but the bond that develops between him and Rebecca aids him in coming to terms with his newfound independence and forgiving himself. And I do like how this film doesn't really let the romance that's brewing between them overshadow any of the other important plot points that are happening although i do think the love angle was kind of discarded or maybe i was just misinterpreting the love and only renfield felt some type of way about rebecca so outside of the core group of characters everyone else for the most part they are forgettable forgettable side characters who really only gain any sense of importance through the way they contribute to the motivations of our central characters dracula i would say is severely underused in this film as well but nicholas nicholas cage managed to make the most out of it i get the movie obviously is about renfield but when dracula is present it just felt like something was missing the film i would also argue is absolutely gorgeous to look at the cinematography from top to bottom is easily something i look forward to experiencing once again the lighting and color palette being the two components i'm most Mostly referring to there too many movies these days to me they do look dull and lifeless but Renfield is filled with very attractive visuals I can't get over those action sequences either sure upon a few rewatches I'm certain those action sequences might become a bit tiresome to me or I might just grow numb to them I've seen several other movies do action sequences like this but still on a first viewing with this movie it made the phenomenal choreography just something to soak in. Combining that with over-the-top gore and an appropriate soundtrack in the mix, at some moments I definitely felt like I was watching, I'm trying to think of what would be the best comparison here, a Mortal Kombat game play out or even a rack of rack of video so shout out to them also and if you haven't already go check out the trailer for talk to me which is from rack of rack of. look that looks like a pretty good movie the editing during the action sequences during this movie was always passable which is great because i cannot stand when action sequences are incoherent messes chris mckay's direction that i would say for the most part was very masterful as far as i'm concerned but again the overall movie is not flawless however 
pacing, 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 pacing. Redfield has or Renfield has its pacing down to a T. Each scene gets its point across, progresses the story in some capacity, and then it's on to the next. There's never a single dull moment within the film because each scene is getting enough breathing room without overstaying its welcome. My interest was always on high alert thanks to the great pacing. I would say Aquafina did fine in her role as Rebecca, although I did find her to be the weakest out of the three main stars that I'm thinking of. Nicolas Cage is literally devouring every scene that he is in. I mean, the facial expressions and the line delivery alone completely won me over with his take on Dracula here. The makeup in this film also made me wince a few times, and one sequence early on made me think of an old ass Freddy Krueger, I would say, who was in serious need of some sort of skincare product. Not that Krueger has never not been in need of that. <laughs> Cage is just able to capture the cruel, humorous, and somewhat commanding nature of Dracula with such ease. Nicholas Holt, he does a tremendous job in this movie. He is phenomenal and just somebody I look forward to seeing a lot more of if this gets a sequel, because I love what he brought to the table here as Renfield. He betrays the awkward energy of the character so well and excels at being this surprisingly crafty fighter when necessary. All in all, I do think that Renfield is a hit for me. It again is not flawless. There are some misses, but for the most part, this is a W, one of the better horror comedies I've seen in recent memory. I look forward to revisiting. Yes, this is not the most deep, deepest dive or longest review I've done on this channel. I just didn't see too much much to really over examine here but you guys let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below on a scale of one to ten i would give this a eight out of ten if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video